Look at all this amazing, gorgeous, beautiful glass. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Oh my goodness, you guys. We just made it back from one of the best auctions that I've been to in a very, very long time with two gigantic boxes full of awesome treasures, a lot of glass. I'm super excited, so let's just get right into this amazing haul. Okay, I ended up spending around $250 on all this stuff, so I don't think I did too bad um, for everything I got, so let's just get right into the haul. Everything's still wrapped. Like, everything is wrapped up, so. On top, I picked up several or four actually, four different colors of these little, well, this is a little cream and a little sugar. This is a little cup. A little cup, yes. A little cup so there's four different colors a little cup here's the saucers so they there's the four different colors you can see the pink the green the blue and the yellow so um, some of them have just one cup some of them have you know multiple with them. I just thought that was a lot, you know, and I, I think I only paid like a dollar or something for those, for the whole set. Then I picked up this cute, adorable iridescent glass Fenton bear. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. Oh, here's more l little saucers. So each one has a little one. Here is the top. Ooh, careful, Missy. The top to one of the hair receivers I picked up. I picked up this beautiful um, blue glass bird. I'm not for sure if this is Fenton or Westmoreland. It's not marked Westmoreland, so I'm assuming this is a Fenton bird because this lady had a huge, gigantic Fenton collection. So that cute little glass bird. A glass, this one's in good shape, Bluebird of Happiness. It is marked on the bottom. Warren Ward, 1991. 1991. His beak is good. Um, the other one I picked up has a little bit of a rough spot on its beak. Here is the uh, top to the other hair receiver that I picked up. Here is the big, big, big bluebird of happiness. So pretty. It's like I said, its beak is a little bit rough right there as you can see, but it's still 
sticks out and it's really, really pretty and cute. And this one is, oh, Ron Ray 1989, I think that's what that says. Something I'm not for sure, but it's absolutely gorgeous and pretty. So that bluebird, and you can see here the size difference between the two. This one's bigger. And the next thing is a blue glass swung vase. Absolutely gorgeous. Love these Fenton pieces. So pretty. I picked up a blue Fenton butterfly. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. It's so pretty. Oh, here is the bottom to one of the hair receivers. So I picked that one up. Isn't that so pretty? Again, no chips, no cracks. And it is marked on the bottom, hand painted Nippon. It is, this one's Nippon. So that's absolutely gorgeous hair receiver. Love that one. Here's the bottom to this hair receiver. So pretty. There's no chips or cracks. Love that piece. Beautiful, beautiful, um, like charcoal color, smoky gray charcoal love that it's got the lid in here with it somewhere somewhere in this box then the next thing i picked up is this another gorgeous beautiful um blue glass swung vase so not only did i get one i got two love those Then here's the lid to one of the beautiful carnival glass butter dishes that I picked up. Here is the lid to the beautiful, I believe this is Westmoreland. I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to do a quick Google image search, but look at that color. It is absolutely perfect for fall. Gorgeous, gorgeous, no chips, no cracks. And it's a really, really nice, stunning piece. I think it's so pretty. It's all hand painted and I liked that one. Then I picked up this beautiful, beautiful cut to clear glass bell. It's still got its dinger in there. It might be crystal. Yeah, it might be crystal. It's absolutely stunning and gorgeous. There's no chips or cracks. And it's like green, cut to clear. I don't know, it's so pretty. And then... I picked this girl up. She is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Look, her head is as big as mine. <laughs> She's so big. This large, large, beautiful 
um, gorgeous lady head vase. You can see it is Napco where it's marked on the bottom. She is missing her earrings, but that is an easy fix. And I love this one. So I just think it's so awesome. She's very big, quite large. Then here is the bottom. Is this the matching one? I got two butter dishes, so I don't know. Yeah, I think this is the right one. There we go. Look at that thick, thick glass. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful um, glass carnival. Carnival glass butter dish. And on the bottom, it says hand painted to 1272 something Smith. I don't know. It is stunning. Scoot back a little bit. Scoot you guys a little bit more towards me here. Then I picked up this amazing, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, stunning. It's uranium glass, Vaseline glass. I don't know, but it is Fenton. Um, large basket that does glow under a black light very nicely. I will go grab my black light so I can show you. Oh, it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. My batteries are about dead in my black light, but you can see how nicely it will, it glows. And if all my lights were off, you would see it is stunning and it's huge. So beautiful, 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 gorgeous Fenton basket. Love that piece. And, ooh, this is something heavy. Then I got this beautiful, beautiful, large glass apple. It is absolutely stunning. It's got one little rough spot on it on the stem. Um, where did I? Right there, but I think it's where they were applying the leaf. It's right here, not on the stem, but on the leaf. It's a one little rough spot on the leaf, but I think it's from manufacturing when they were applying it. I don't think it's a chip or anything, but that is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning, and it's so big. So big. Love that glass apple. And here is the other lid to the other butter dish that I got. Then I picked up this amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, large Fenton glowy glass pitcher. And where did I set that black light at? Here it is. Again, it does glow so nicely. Oh, my batteries are just about dead in here, but it is amazing. Absolutely love this piece. So beautiful. And here is the bottom to the other butter glass dish. Oh my goodness, Missy, come on. I don't want to get any chips on it. There we go. But look how nice and thick it is. It is absolutely stunning. So, so pretty. 
gorgeous. Then I picked up this beautiful custard glass Fenton piece. It's got the original sticker on there. Absolutely stunning, the ruffle edge. So pretty. And these do not glow, I don't believe. No, these ones don't glow. But it's still so pretty. And with its original sticker, that's pretty cool. <coughs> then, we're still on the first box, you guys. I picked up the larger one. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. No chips, no cracks. Again, Fenton, hand-painted. So pretty. Then I picked up this uranium glass. This might be Vaseline glass, but it does glow beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Like the little feet on there. Love that piece. I picked up this Vaseline glass piece. Unfortunately, there was no bottom but I couldn't leave the top behind. Look how nicely that glows. It is beautiful and stunning. So that. And then the last piece in the first box is one of my favorites. This gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue Fenton glass vase. It is stunning. Stunning. There's no chips, no cracks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm going to have to look this one up to see what pattern this one is called, but isn't that so fancy? It is so pretty. Love that. Careful, Missy. All right, that's all for that box. Let's move on to the second box. So then my friends Heather and Dan, my auction buddies, they were there and they picked up the whole lot of these different little pewter figures. So I bought two of them off of those guys and I told them I would sell them at my live sale and see how they did. Um, and then if they did good, then I would get more from them. I would buy more, but these are so cute. A little boy and a little girl pewter figure. Um, one has a sticker, one does not, but they're, they're so cute and adorable. So pick those up, thought I'd give them a try. And then I picked up 10 different beautiful glass shoes. Um, my friends, uh, Doug and Angie, they bought the whole lot of the glass shoes and they sold me 10 of them. So I did get several of those from those guys. So that is one. That one. I picked up two glass perfume bottles. Unfortunately, I didn't realize after I bought them that one of them has, this one actually right there has a chip out of it. I didn't even notice, it's hard to tell, but it does have a chip out of it. So, but they're still really pretty glass with the glass stoppers. And 
I don't know if it's Ellie Smith or who made these, but they're really pretty. So this is, that's one. Here's another glass shoe I picked up. Absolutely stunning. The red ones do got a little a bit of cadmium in them as well. This one. This one. They're so pretty, aren't they? With the little kitty cats on them. Here is the other glass perfume bottle. So see, there's two of them here. Those are really pretty. Here's another glass shoe. I was able to get this beautiful, beautiful iridescent Fenton um, glass kitty cat with the blinged out necklace. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the green eyes. Yellow one, so pretty. Another red one. dark blue one. Uh, uranium glass biscuit jar. Unfortunately, I didn't notice until after I bought it that it does have a tiny little chip right there on the lid but it does glow very, very nicely. The, um, oh, my batteries are just about low. Um, it does glow very nicely. There we go. It's beautiful, beautiful. So that, the bottom is right here. And then see, you can see it's got a really, really nice pattern on there. So pretty. And you can see it glows so nicely. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love that. I think this is the last shoe. Beautiful. Love them. There was so many. So, so, so many. And then I picked up this beautiful, amazing, awesome Cinderella trinket box. Open it up. 
and it's got the glass slipper in there. It's got the glass, Cinderella's glass shoe in there. Isn't that amazing? So that's pretty cool. And it still has its original tag with it as well. So love that trinket box. Then I bought a whole stack of Jim Shore plates. These are Jim Shore Christmas plates. These are amazing. Look at all that detail. Absolutely love them. Still has its original tag right there. So there's that one. This one. They're so pretty. I love the detail on them. This one. Oh, I guess just three. Three Jim Shore plates. And then I bought this plate. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Look at that. Look at the like Greek motif. It is so pretty. And then on the back, it's marked. Right there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. And then I picked up a whole lot of the Jim Shore Angels. So, so pretty. Gorgeous. And then they are marked on the bottom. This one's from 2003. Ooh, I like how her dress is like doubled like that. So pretty. She's from 2002. Again, they're so pretty. 2002. This one's a little bit smaller. It's so pretty. 2002. Holding their little bird cage and their little bird. 2002. Cute little fairy. Jim Shore fairy, love these. Can't tell if this is 2010 or 2000. I'll be able to see it on the camera maybe if it'll focus. Two thousand ten. Cute, cute, cute Jim Shore fairy. And then the last piece that I picked up was the amazing mother holding the baby. Mother's love, absolutely gorgeous and stunning. And this one is from 2006. So that is pretty cool, absolutely love it. So I got all that, all that I just showed you guys for around $250. I don't think I did too bad. What do you guys think? Um, usually I don't get that lucky and I'm not able to get a whole bunch of glass. 
today was the exception. It was so much fun. Absolutely loved it. So what do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I got today at the auction. And as always, if there's anything you're ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Um, probably most all this stuff that you've seen me pick up will be available in my live sale, which, um, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get notified every time I go live and when I post new videos. Um, and I sometimes have pop-up live sales where some of this might be for sale. So if you're subscribed, you should get notified when I have those pop-up live sales as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I had a lot of fun getting all this glass at the auction. <laughs> so as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.